Good afternoon, afternoon, afternoon. Well, I'm out here at the new property, guys. Been working out here today. We got a big storm on the way. It's supposed to hit at like 4 a.m. It wasn't supposed to rain today at all during the day. But of course, my luck, I loaded up the truck full of stuff, a uh, bunch of battery operated tools, hammer level, all kinds of stuff, drills, uh, to come out here and do some work on the shop and the little barn area here today. Trying to get ahead of it before the rain comes because at four o'clock in the morning, it's supposed to rain for like the next week, which I'm not mad at. We need the rain, something fierce. So I'm all for it. We definitely need it. But I wanted to get out here and get a little work done and start adding some things to this area and start a little cleanup as well. I've been out here filming a come on homesteading video, uh, doing a couple of installs and stuff like that. You might actually see it in the background uh, in the in one of these clips here, maybe, possibly. If I get up and start walking around, I'm pretty tired. I've been out here most of the day. Uh, I forgot my ladder. I went over to Junk to Jim's and got one of his ladders, but uh, it wasn't going to work. Those, those uh, things that I were working on, I almost gave it away. <laughs> the things that I were working on out here was a little too heavy uh, on that particular ladder. So I went ahead and uh, went back to the house whenever it started raining and got my two ladders. I forgot them. Brought them back up here, and uh, they ended up working a whole lot better. And I do mean a whole lot. So, uh, and was definitely a lot safer. Trying to uh, be cautious of that out here working by myself. There's so much destruction out here and junk and stuff that it can get real dangerous real fast. So, trying to be careful with it. I mean, Junk to Gym is right next door. I could probably holler and they could hear me if something serious happened. But uh, just trying to take my time with it. Also trying to evaluate a lot of this because uh, this is a big project. It's one of those ones that's so overwhelming. It's like, where do I start? You know? But uh, I believe that I got all of that figured out as well. I'm definitely starting in the garage. I got a, like one of those snow shovels. Ooh, it's getting windy. I hope my hand is covering up the mic good enough for the wind. But you could definitely tell that storms starting to roll in here but i got one of those snow shovels to be able to just scoop some of this trash and debris and stuff up because in the back there's a ton of it i'll show you let's take let's take a walk it might be dark in there but there's just all kinds of stuff on the floor see all that stuff underneath the chair i also brought some shovels and some rakes my blower my loppers Bunch of batteries. But look at all this stuff back here, guys. I want to scoop all of that up. And get it thrown away. But it's everywhere. And it's also kind of the same in the barn area definitely over the lean-to right here tons of it so yeah I think it'd be a lot better to scoop that than uh, sit there and try to do all that by hand end up getting stabbed with stuff dirt built up in here and same thing, just a whole lot of stuff. I'm definitely looking forward to utilizing all of this shelving though. That is really cool that that's already there. And definitely cool that that's there. Probably what I'm going to do for to start with, I'm going to get one of those... Uh, smaller dumpsters like we got there at the house uh, brought out here and that way the smaller cleanup stuff like all these buildings and stuff I can go ahead and start just filling that dumpster up weekly and have them starting to dump it because I'm going to need one out here anyways uh, I will end up bringing one of those big roll-off dumpsters out here 
before it's all said and done but i don't want to do that quite yet until i get some equipment down here to start going through the because this winter whenever they lift this burn band that we got right now a lot of it i can burn but the stuff that i can't burn i'll put into the roll off that way the roll off ain't getting full too fast and uh, end up costing me a fortune to get them to go dump it about 12 times. So I'm going to try to uh, pick through, salvage whatever I can salvage. And then uh, the stuff that can't be burnt, I'll put in there like the bent up metal and stuff like that. So, And also I will be making a scrap pile as well. And try to take a load to the scrap yard. Might as well try to make a little bit of money out of it as well it looks like there's quite a bit of stuff out here for that instead of just uh, throwing it in the dumpster and having it all thrown away might as well make a little jangle to help pay for all of those roll off dumpsters that it's going to take to get this place cleaned up um i do plan on bringing uber down here uh, in the near future to help uh expedite uh some of this outdoor stuff and even with over here in the garages and stuff like that i could fill up uber's bucket and just dump it straight into the dumpster instead of having to uh, pull the gorilla cart and unload it load it then unload it into the dumpsters so but yeah we're gonna start there do over there as far as the lean to area the little uh like carport type that over there that has got a ton of trash in it but that's going to have to be addressed sooner than later just because if we get to the point where we have snowfall I don't think that roof can hold up any weight I really don't there's some definite 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 compromised uh, little roof rafters trusses whatever you want to call it over there some of them are cracked and it's sagging real bad so i'm gonna have to jack that up i got a uh, like a 10 ton or 12 ton little bottle jack that i should be able to rig something up and jack a like a little a new header or something across there just to hold up that weak section just to help get it through winter until i decide uh what's going to be the best plan of action for that it might not even stay there. It might be better for me to just tear it down, clear that area out, and do something else with it and try to use what uh, material I can as far as the metal and stuff like that out of it. But I have to evaluate it once I get all that stuff cleaned out because there's a ton up underneath there. So, yeah, guys, that's what I am doing. Uh, Margarita went back home last night. Uh, we did grill some steaks, and that almost became a disaster. I did film some of that. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a fired up Friday. It's not going to be like one you're used to. Not with the step by steps cooking and stuff, but just pretty much of us cooking. And also the disaster that happened that almost ruined the, the whole night, the whole meal. It was uh, pretty bad. I got to looking. I haven't put a fired up Friday out in like six months. So definitely thinking about doing that. And I decided that I would get up early and come out here and work on this area. So that's what I've been doing all day. But I'll probably stay out here until dark. Definitely not used to all the traffic. That's for sure. There's no traffic on Come On Mountain. But that's part of living closer to town, I guess. <sighs> I love that tree. Hold on. Look at that. That is a big, beautiful, beautiful tree right there love it but if it's not raining tomorrow which i think it's supposed to be uh i'll be, end up coming out here again uh, i also have to go to town i got a phone call this morning from best buy about one of my warranties one of my cameras has been messed up the volume uh that pergola video you can kind of tell the volume was all over the place and i and i fixed it the best that i could my camera was having volume issues where it would just go up and down, up and down automatically. And I put it in to get fixed and they don't make the parts no more. So they told me I have to come into the store, get store credit and get a different one. So I got to do that sometime this week too. And I'm going to do it on one of the rainy days. That way I'm not wasting on any of the 
working days that can happen because in a couple of weeks uh, is Thanksgiving and I'm going out of town for that. So, gotta stay productive. But I love y'all. I also put the fishing video out today on Come On Homesteading. That was a cool, fun, fun video. Um, I tried to make that one as fun as possible and try to highlight really like us joking around with each other and stuff all the weekend. You know, guys trip stuff. So, But I love every single one of y'all. Hopefully y'all had a good day. You took a step closer to your goals and you was nice to somebody. Y'all keep it real, guys. See you tomorrow.